rails. Do, 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 do. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Michelle. How are you doing today? I hope things are well for you out there. Anyways, today I wanted to come in and just react to a video of a young woman crying about being a feminist. I don't know about you, but I am so tired of watching these women get on these recordings and these platforms and cry about how feminism has ruined their lives and that feminism has lied to them. Feminism did not lie to you, honey. It did not lie to you at all. It told you that you had the opportunity to make decisions about your life that you needed to make, that the church couldn't make it for you and the state couldn't make it for you and a husband couldn't make it for you. Or any, or your father couldn't make it for any male figure couldn't make it for you. The onus for your life was on you, and, and so many women have turned out to be really crappy people. They they alienated their friends, they alienated their families, and now they want to get married and they want to have children. And they said, "Well, you know, it was feminism. Feminism denied me a marriage." And, and 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 children and I'm just so tired of being a feminist because I don't have any friends and I don't have any family and I come down to the point where nobody will love me. Feminism. <laughs> oh yeah, and I'm bored. I'm so bored with it because feminism has nothing to do with whether or not you get married. You can get married and still be a feminist. I'm married. I'm a feminist. I've been a feminist all my life. Some of my feminist heroes were women who put their children on their hip and marched in line for women's rights, both in the first wave, the second wave, and the third wave. So I don't understand why women are so confused that feminism is somehow or being a feminist is somehow going to keep you from getting married feminism has nothing to do with you being a good person be a good person but know your rights and don't give them away be a good person and if you want to be a mother and a stay-at-home mother do that there's nothing wrong with that feminism gave you the opportunity to make a decision about your life so I don't understand then why you are crying because you think feminism lied to you. It didn't. Some women do have it all. Some women can have it all. Some women can't have it all. You have to decide. The onus on your life is on you, not on anyone else. It doesn't mean you get to be a crappy person. It doesn't mean you get to alienate your friends. It doesn't mean that you don't want to get married. But it does mean that if you do decide to get married, you should have an education. And you should have a second way out. Not because necessarily you're looking for things to go bad, but things go bad. So I'm going to share this video with you and, and uh, show you the start of my rant regarding women on these apps crying about feminism. I wish you would all be quiet and realize that when you make a decision, that's what it's all about. You have to take responsibility for it. It's not anybody else's responsibility. It's yours and you have to deal with it. It's not too late for you to change your life. It's not too late for you to get married and have children. In fact, women over 35 are having children. I know they told you that it's impossible, but it's not. People over 35, I had my kids when I was 35, 33 and 35. I had my children that people are having happy, healthy, uneventful pregnancies. So stop listening to men tell you what your timeline is and follow your own path. If you've been listening to people all this time tell you what path you want to take instead of taking your own, that's on you. You can't blame anybody else. And you can't blame feminism. Feminism is not ruining the world. People who refuse to take responsibility are. Let's play this video right here. And show you exactly why I have come to this rant in the middle of the day. This girl. Hi guys, thank 
like I'm so sad right now because I just came to like a realization these past few days have been so hard for me because like you know how men say that women have toxic feminism here we go and listening to men tell you about femininity again that you'll get to a certain age and like no one will want to marry you and no one will love you like I feel like I've gotten to that point, guys. Like, I was so hung on to this feminism thing. And I missed out on marriage and on children. And now, like, I'm at a point in my life. You out on marriage. You didn't miss out on children. You're still young enough to get married and have children. I feel like I'm so bitter. I'm so jealous of people who have marriages because... They are so happy and their husbands don't even cheat on them. But, you know, like right now is when I'm realizing like I can't do without them. And right now I'm like, I don't care like if you are rich or poor, tall, dark, handsome, ugly, me, I don't care by the way. As long as you're a man and you're breathing, like that's the only qualification I need because I'm just so desperate for a husband because like, there's a lot of pressure around me. So. If you can deal with me and propose, I swear I'll be here and I'll marry you immediately. I'll wash your clothes, I'll cook for you, I'll have your children. Tell me what you think in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye.